better monitor blood pressure. Health anchor Liz Bonus joins us now to explain how it all works. Liz. Hey guys, good afternoon to you. The National Institutes of Health has just released this photo. You can see it here behind me. It's something of a wearable detector that might soon actually detect your blood pressure or detect the blood flowing through your arteries is a better way to put it. As you know, traditionally a blood pressure cuff is placed around the arm to measure your blood pressure at the doctor's office or maybe even have one of these. It's a home cuff. But this new patch has something very different. It was developed by a team at the University of California, San Diego. The lead researcher is a guy named Dr. Sheng Yu, and his team shared this photo of what they call the patch, so to speak. It's worn a couple of different ways. It's a thin wearable blood pressure sensor, which uses ultrasound transducer, transducers, according to the NIH. A transducer makes high frequency sound waves, and these bounce off the blood vessel. The transducer then re receives an echo pattern and sends that to a computer. The computer then converts it into a waveform, and the waveform is calibrated to a patient's blood pressure changes that would normally show up. So you could kind of see it go up and down with a wave. Now the team that engineered this sort of stretchable, flexible device, as they call that, did it so it could all be worn as a skin patch. What you're seeing here is an array of ultrasound transducers. So every one of those little things is a tiny little transducer, and the best one or the one that can best position over an artery in your neck or on your wrist or on your finger is then selected. They also underneath that have a layer of silicone beneath the patch so you don't have to use a gel like you usually do if you're using conventional ultrasound wands. Most of these wearable devices have barely gone beneath the skin. This one however can monitor far below it. They're hoping to make the next one able to share wireless data. Isn't that cool? Mm. That is very high tech. Uh, very high tech. Don't give me a test, but that's you know, <laughs> well, I just had to explain it because <laughs> no, there's no other good. way to say what it does. It's yeah. so cool. Very cool. Thank you, Liz. Yeah.